Let's dig again. We're starting log number two. Log number two. So Jake, Miles, and I were at the worship night last night at the Promised Church, and this awesome dude named Louie came. He had tattoos all over his face, and I asked him what his story was, and he shared 30 seconds with Miles, Jake, and I, and it just wrecked us. So we thought, we just wanted the world to hear this testimony, so we asked him to come on into the bus and share his testimony of how the Lord changed an ex-gang member into an evangelist. Enjoy. Whoa. All right, so what's your name? Uh, my name is Lou Aguilar. I'm a part of the Aguilar and Melendez family from Phoenix, Arizona, you know? And um, other people know me as Locote Lobo from East Side Montevilla Locos, you know, 99th Avenue. And uh, yeah, you know, that's me. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, so tell, tell us your testimony. Give us give us what, what you want to share. Oh man, so um, I, you know, I come from a family bunch of you know hardcore gang members you know um my family comes from east side phoenix you know from arizona yeah um very old neighborhood out there and um you know we go deep into the prison system so you know just the way it be you know i followed the same tracks i went down that same way you know and um when i was 16 you know it's it's gonna sound real jacked up man but you know this is my first uh, interaction i had you know actually getting a taste of you know the lord was a uh, there was this guy from another neighborhood and i was supposed to kill him and chop his head off you know and uh i tried to but he ended up living and so i got locked up you know and in there that's when i first read the bible you know but at that time i was still rolling with the homies and you know being a little gangster you know yeah. i got out you know a little later you know i had respect you know and i did a little bit of youth authority time um i started rolling on the streets you know and next thing you know in my car i'm rolling with an ak-47 in my car and i got a 12 gauge in my my closet i got a kill kit in my trunk and i either got a nine on me or 38 my homeboy's packing dope you know and we're doing all this crazy stuff you know and i'm supposed to be you know, kind of living with the Lord, you know. But from there, man, um, I got out. Uh, I got baptized, you know. I started going to Wood Village Baptist Church, you know. And uh, my pastor, who's actually like the father figure in my life, his name is uh, Pastor Tom Miles, you know. He, uh, he baptized me in the river in front of all my friends, you know. All my homies were happy to see it, you know. And uh, ever since then, I gave my life to the Lord. And uh, I started doing a gang and youth outreach. So... I started working with that risk youth and gang impacted families and um, I was working with the uh, high school and middle schools, you know, between their counselors and principals, working with their gang population and uh, any violence that was going on. I started working alongside the Montnomah County Gang Unit and the Fairview Sheriff's Department with their gang population too. And I was also working with the nonprofit organization for human trafficking and young women, you know, which was probably one of the hardest, you know, things to do. And so, you know, we were taking these, you know, young ladies coming out of that lifestyle, you know, of human trafficking and trying to rehabilitate them, get them back into, you know, into uh, society and everything. So now I work with the little homies who are trying to follow that path to be a gangster, you know, or like um, dudes who struggle like with the addiction or anything, you know, or like uh, homies coming out of prison or homies that are in prison. Right now, one of my little homies, you know, he's actually probably about to go to 15 years right now for attempted murder you know and he's I think 18 years old and this is his second attempted murder you know and so I'm writing him a letter you know I actually got to send it out you know and uh, uh, talking about Jesus you know about how we don't you know have to uh, prove ourselves to him you know we wow. don't have to you know do anything you know to prove our love you know because it's not he's not one of those he's not like that homie that's like hey man you're gonna go blast this dude, you know, to show me your loyalty, you know, and we don't have to die for it. He already died for us. All he asks is for us to do is to live for him, you know, and to love others. And I don't understand how somebody can't love somebody who all they ask for you to do is just, hey man, just, just love these people, you know? And so to me, that's, you know, that's worth dying over for me, you know? And so I, you know, uh, I'm a Christian, you know? Christian for like three years now. Come on. And uh, you know, now I go out and do things like this, you know, do security work when needed. Yeah. You know, or go out and vangelize, hit the streets, you know, and you know, wherever God takes me, you know, and I can be used, cool. Let me be you know an instrument used to, you know, recruit souls, you know, because I'm not saving nobody. It's my job, you know, to go out there just like it's all of ours, you know, to go proclaim the gospel, you know. 
and uh, get taken out of our comfort zone, you know, and go reach people that, you know, we might not be comfortable reaching, you know, but it's not about being comfortable, it's about being obedient, you know, and so that's what I do now, you know, for the Lord, man, and uh, I do it with no shame. So, you know, that's a little bit of my testimony, but, you know, it gets pretty darker than that, so, you know, but it's, uh, you know, bottom line is, you know, I'm a, I'm a new creation in Christ, you know, I, you know, uh, I serve Him, you know, and I'll serve Him for the day I die, you know. You went from a went from a gangster to an evangelist. Yep. Come on, man. Yeah, man. Love it, dude. <laughs> exactly, it, bro. Thank you so much. Hey, thank this you. This is Louie, and he's out on worship night in Portland, and it's amazing. We're honored to have you, bro. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, honored to be here. <laughs>